Look at this shit. I'm calling this a crazy example. Oops, full screen. Hmm. Where are we? We are in Canada. Lake Mani no, Lake Winnipeg. Okay. So It kind of speaks for itself. How would this... I mean, just because I can't think of how this would form naturally doesn't mean it can't have done so. But... It just looks... Again, if you think I'm making up that whole thing about the scoops, just look at this one. Because, I mean... Scoops it out. And then it leaves this... This thin island thing here, although I have a very hard time explaining what it looked like before the alleged uh, sweep of the tool. Um, did it do this part first, and then it did this, or it did this, and then did this? Uh, or it didn't, this was already there. And then you see these streaks, which this could be, these streaks could possibly be like, uh, just, um, like if the bank is at an angle, I don't know, the, the wind blows the sand in a particular way during a storm or something, I don't know. Uh, or, you know, just run over just the water. But again, you see this like miles inland, so I don't know. But I mean, purpose of this this video is just to point to, point out this one example because it's it's so uh, so wacky. But I'll take you through a couple more. This is, I believe, same like yeah, and just pointing out this more or less chunked out uh, areas of coast, or what appears to be kind of chunked out. And again, this this is a little, very minor detail, but you see this? It's kind of subtle, but this is where I'm saying the, the tool mark kind of ends. You see this a lot, like this tiny little, uh, uh, little dip at the end there, where the uh, I mean, it's, you see it more prominent in other examples I've shown. Let's look at this in a little more detail. Um, and again, <clears throat> tough to say whether that's sand or rock. So hard to know the dynamics of the, the little ecosystem here. And it's in Canada, so it's, I mean, it's, that might be ice. It's, uh, it's getting cold and melting and all kinds of stuff. I'm just saying these these lines resemble what you might see if um, if it had been kind of chunked out like uh, like hungry hungry hippo. Kind of see some underneath there as well. Okay, what's the next thing we got here? In strips. Um, okay, so this is very similar to what we see up here, the first thing we saw. So, it's more of these uh, thin strips of islands here. And you see these grooves here? It's hard to say where the, where the water and I don't know if the water comes all the way up to here and we're looking at waves here. That might be it. So I don't want to speak on that. Um, but just this thin little island here. Thin little island here. And uh, 
It's just curious. I'm just saying it's odd looking. I don't know what the deal with that is. It's like a trail or something. Um, Okay, and up here, it's a little island here. Kind of obnoxious, uh, what I'm calling a, a scoop. And again, you see this thin little area of land left where the, the tool sweep ended, maybe. That's the theory. Similar thing here on this side. Okay. And very sharp point. Where is this? This is in Lake Ontario. I just found this stuff today. Scooping or, or snooping around some more. Um, Okay, so this is what I'm saying and un, is an almost unnaturally sharp looking point where what I would say is uh, this area was sweeped out, swept out. <sighs> and uh, and then maybe this little area was swept out. Let's see it in context. Okay. And then this stuff was kind of maybe swept over as well. I don't know, maybe. And here we kind of see some straight lines, which may or not may or may not be just traditional, or I mean, just regular modern stuff. Again, I haven't really gone over this too much, but you'll see this kind of old pattern, or what might be an old pattern uh, in lots of places. Okay, very sharp point again. This is in next Great Lake over Lake Erie. Okay. Let's look at what's going on here. I don't know whether it's just the modern uh, projects, contemporary projects just decided to just go up to this line here, or whether this, uh, whether this area was already kind of abruptly, I don't know, shaved over, shaved off. And then you see this very sharp point at the end of the, Line there as if it did this sweep, and then as and then when it was sweeping this way, it came over that way. Let's look at this thin strip again, as if it swept over here, swept over this, and then here you almost see a little angle, almost like it just started there, swept along. Trust me, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm still second guessing myself on all of this. Yeah, right there, I already saw that. I wanted to check out this real quick, this right here. Because it's, it's like some of, the, some of the edges of coastlines of continents and, and lakes, lake shores as well. It's like it was a, I don't know, like they cut over the edge of it and just then strip right there and then you see these again these these streaks which might be grooves of some kind or some some kind of natural flow pattern that I'm not quite grasping um, see this is kind of what I mean it's like it's like a this is just uh, sheared over 
the, the whole edge here. Okay, what else? There's another one. This will be in Lake Superior. So again, we've got this nice little sweep here. Looks like it started right there or so. Dur, dur, dur. Um, again, what this looked like before it was machined, I have no idea. All I'm saying is this, this strip of land somehow is created by the same force that created this area of shore, it would appear. Wouldn't you agree? Here we see a nice little scoop out there and then these streaks pretty far inland. They're just, to me they look just, mm, I don't know. Looks like somebody did it and they just did that. Alrighty, what was over here? Oh, I was just wondering whether this squared off little jetty here is completely modern or whether it was built on top of an existing little thing. I don't know. It's a sketchy example. Oh, and here, look at this. <laughs> um, fairly smooth uh, curve here and then we've got this guy just a, a channel swept here very uniform in width and uh, curvature more or less and if it was a modern channel for uh, uh, contemporary boats and uh, maritime activities, um, it would be purposeless because they could either go this way <laughs> or they could just go in the open water over here. There would be no real purpose for this, uh, this long thing here. Although, now that I think about it, maybe Maybe somebody took their, their power boat through there on, a, I don't know, a joyride and just went parallel to the coast and they, but even so, whatever was there before this groove showed up, it's still pretty uniform curve. I think that's pretty damning or uh, pretty tough to explain with natural. And again, the same thin island, see, starts the sweep there at the end and there's this thin island that oh god for the life of me i can't i can't even come up with a, a good theory because it's just so weird although eventually i'll i'll read you the uh the traditional explanation on how uh barrier islands form but yeah i don't know part of me thinks these these little jutting out parts here i don't know what you call it a jetty or uh, a protrusion of sorts. Part of me thinks it might be, might have been there before, and then they just built on top of it, like this guy. Could be. Gadgets. This is kind of a slightly different topic. You see these grooves? They're long gouges, probably from. A glacier like, um, I mean, the Ice Age was a pretty big deal, so you would expect some, some big gouges like that from glacier streaking over or migrating over a landmass. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I don't, but I do have trouble explaining when it's in so many different directions.
Although I guess there was one age and then another age and then another another age because you see like this this line right there. So it's streaking this way, it's streaking this way, this way. It's very uh a lot of different directions for these uh, streak marks. Especially like in this, this type of area. But don't want to jump to conclusions because that may be explainable by Glacier. Just kind of looking around here. Okay.